Hello everyone. I thought of starting a lecture series on R. R is basically a, a statistical programming language. Like uh, many other uh, statistical software, R is also a good statistical software. Uh, there are also SPSS uh, software that is uh, available out there. But in our programming language, you can deal with many different types of uh, data files like NetCDF, uh, RDA, uh, HDF files. And you can pretty easily handle those files and it is uh, also uh, very user friendly. You can also plot in our software uh, pretty easily. So before going to the uh, statistical analysis on R. I would like to show you how you can uh, initially download R. So uh, you have to just go to this website and uh, you can download recent version of R for Windows and it is also available for Ubuntu. The link of this uh, website I will give in my description box. You can just download and install it. So um, there is another very user-friendly uh, version of uh, R is uh, R Studio, where you can uh, write code, you can uh, you can run the code, and uh, simultaneously you can uh, see your plottings in the same window. So um, I'm going to uh, work on R Studio. Uh, so you can first, uh, what you can do, you can first download the R GUI from this website and then you can download the R Studio from this website, uh, the, the recent version, and then you can run it. So I'm going to open my R Studio. So uh, today I will show only you, only the uh, basic analysis in R. So those of you who are uh, like a grad student who are in new in research and want to do statistical analysis, uh, this video will be uh, going to helpful for them. So um, as I was saying, uh, there is a three, uh, you know, sub window. Uh, here we can uh, write the, uh, uh, here we can write the code. Uh, we can also uh, write the code in uh, here also. Uh, like you can uh, write a huge code here and you can run it um, and this this is basically divided into uh, again two half yes uh, and here you can see there are uh, five tabs files plot packages uh, help and viewer and this is uh, like in this we, you can see the environment the history of the code that you will run and etc etc so uh, today i will only show you uh, the basic of uh, our statistical analysis for example uh, i will do the basic algebra for example you want to uh, calculate uh, you, you you want to do the summation like you want to uh, add uh, 4500 plus uh, so you, you have to just give the plus sign between the uh, two numerical value that you want to give and then you have to hit enter and the result is like that. So if you want to do uh, the multiplication then you can just uh, do the same by uh, just you can you can like you can uh, enter you can click the up arrow in your keyboard and then you can uh, go to the previous command and you can replace this uh, plus sign by the minus sign and you can see the value similarly you can do the uh, product and also you can do the uh, division so this is basic uh, thing that i am showing it can, you can do it in excel uh, and as well as in spss so, um, so let me uh, try uh, to extract one Excel file 
So today, uh, as I have said that it is just basic, so I will extract a, a Excel file. Uh, so this is our Excel file. Uh, this Excel file consists of a few columns and rows. So you have how many, uh, you have like uh, eight columns and you have like uh, 11 rows. So I am going to show in that how you can import a Excel file in R. So basically uh, in R there are lots of packages, right? So um, different packages is good for different analysis. For example, I want to import uh, the Excel file. So I can uh, install a package which is known as XLSX. So what I have, what I have to do, I have to just install. I can just uh, write install dot packages, and then I will give uh, the double inverted comma and in between I will write x l s x I will just hint enter so if you have the package uh, in it uh, inbuilt uh, generally it are do not have you have to uh, download it externally so uh, as you can see the package is uh, already uh, installed so I will just do the library so as you can see in, in this package uh, window, you will able to see that there is um, XLS package. Yes, this one. So this is the package that uh, uh, I will use for uh, importing the Excel file. So I will just uh, click on this and uh, the XLS package is uh, libraried in the in the R window. So uh, as you can see uh, that uh, it, it is already uh, there. So I will just write read dot xlx. Now you have to keep in mind that what is the extension of your uh, your Excel file. Sometimes it can be uh, XLS sometimes it can be CSV this particular video is for only XLS in my subsequent video I will also uh, show you how to extract the CSV value uh, file in the uh, uh, in the R studio so uh, before uh, excuse me I will first go to the directory uh, where my files are kept this is very important step uh, that you have to follow you have to always go to your uh, desired directory where you have kept all all your um, uh, files that you want to work on so i will go to this and i will open it so i want to extract this file okay so now i will go to more and then i will click on set as working directory okay so uh, my directory is set, uh, my file is there, I'm all set. I will just now uh, give the command. That command is read.xlx. Then I will hit uh, the tab button and I will take this one. Okay, I will just hit enter. Oops, okay. I have to provide a, a, a sheet name. So uh, when you hit the tab button uh, after putting comma, so you will able to see a series of uh, you know uh, thing that is uh, here in this uh, command line. For example, seat index. You can uh, you can uh, see this seat index. I will give one. Why one? Because uh, this is seat in index one. If I have uh, like I will click if I will click on two and I have data in uh, this seat then I will uh, extract it by entering uh, sheet index as 2 so I will then uh, keep this in uh, object for example a let's hit enter okay so let's see what what has come so as you can see uh, there are eight columns and uh, 11 rows 
So this is 10 and uh, this is 11 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So all this 8 uh, columns and rows uh, is uh, imported in this uh, R. Now, uh, for example, if I want to see the first column only, so how we can see, uh, we have to give the third bracket, comma and one. The, if I put comma uh, before the numerical value, then it represents the column. Let's see, for example, this one. Uh, so th th this is the column, A, it is representing the first column, the A, A column. And then if I put like A8, it is eighth column, this one. So if I want to see the uh, value row wise like this, I will just put the comma uh, after the numerical value. Okay, this for one. So as you can see, uh, it is the first row. As Okay, this is the first row. So now I know how to extract uh, one column, uh, how to extract column and rows. Now if I want to do mean, so how will do? I will just type mean. So one thing I would like to say here, uh, there are some basic, uh, you know, statistical, uh, statistical, you know, uh, commands that are already uh, comes with the R package. Some uh, statistical uh, uh, packages you have to install uh, based on your necessity so uh, how you will know how what packages you need to install when i will explain in my uh, next subsequent uh, videos so for now let's do the mean of first column so this this gives the mean of this first column so now there can it can happen that you have the any values here you have some missing values any values so how you will deal with it so you have to put only uh, you have to put comma and then to put any dot rm this means that you want to ignore the uh, missing values and you have to uh, type true uh, you can only uh, try uh, you can type t r u true or you can also give just t uh, both will work so uh, it is giving you the uh, mean value let's try uh, for like another one like uh, let's try for eight sorry a comma eight so this is the mean of this one so if i want to do uh, see wanted to see the standard deviation i will just type std and a oops variance okay let's do variance first so this this will give you the variance and you can just uh, root it root this value and that will give you the standard deviation um Okay, so this is the very basic uh, uh, statistical things that I am showing here. Uh, like if you want to see the maximum uh, value of uh, this column A, you can only, you have to only type max A1. And if you want to see the minimum value, it's mean. Likewise, you can uh, just uh, do this uh, basic statistical thing so uh, like uh, if you want to uh, like bind this first column and for example this third column so what we will do so we will uh, column bind this the command will be c bind c bind so what we will do we will take a one this means the first column and then we will take uh, a3 oops this should be a yeah so this this likewise you can bind the two column and if you like 
uh, give this as R bind. This will be row bind, but you have to change the comma to put it after the numerical value. So like, likewise, you can do the uh, column bind, you can do the row bind. So uh, one thing is that uh, whenever you import any Excel file, any CSV file, you have to put this in any object. Uh, the name of the object doesn't matter. You can give uh, whatever you like. But uh, whenever we are importing it, this, all these values are now stored in this object. So uh, this is a very like a basic uh, of R, how you can uh, work with R. So uh, you can also write uh, this script that I'm writing here, like uh, here also, like uh, let's, let's see bind. I will just copy it from here. Um, and I will just control V. Uh, and I will also copy it from here, I'll paste it here. Cool. So, like you want to save whatever you have uh, done uh, in, in a certain exercise. So, you can use this as your, you know, uh, sc uh, script saver. So, like whatever we have done today, we can uh, copy the script from here and we can save it here. And like, if we go uh, click on the last, uh, you know, uh, in the last of this col uh, the, uh, this line, and you just run this, it will give you the same value. So basically, you can store whatever script you are writing here, here, and store it for future. Also, in this history, whatever you are doing, it it automatically like uh, write in it. If you want to save it for your uh, further use, you can just save it, save your history, uh, and you can choose your desired location and click on save, uh, and further you can use it. Uh, so I will just uh, show one thing uh, where the plot comes. For example, I want to plot uh, just uh, It, this is just a you know uh, what should I say this cattle plot uh, so whatever you are going to uh, you, you want to plot anything uh, then th this will come here so this is your graphical window this is this uh, is your history you can uh, search your history here you can write your script here and you can do the analysis here so it's basically very user friendly you can uh, do a lot of analysis and uh, you can deal with very large uh, files that I will show in my uh, subsequent uh, videos. For now, uh, I think uh, I'm done with this video. Uh, in next videos, I will show um, more packages, uh, how to uh, run, um, how to deal with uh, uh, large number of data, large number of, uh, you know, uh, big files a uh, lot uh, I will also uh, speak about uh, different type of packages utility um, and uh, if you like this video uh, if you find it helpful then you can hit the like button and you can share it so thank you for watching bye